How to use the Rectangle Autobox plugin. So first I'm going to put um, some flat 3D text in, bring in that as text one, and I'm just going to turn off the word wrap, make it automatic. Doesn't matter where we line it up, I can just go there. I'm going to make a duplicate of this object, so I'm just going to come up here, copy that, right click on the scene and paste that so I've now got two text objects. Right, so we want to make a uh, auto box around here. We're going to use the rectangle auto box so I'm going to pick this up and drop that onto my scene. Then we're going to come down here to the scene plugins and in the scene plugins we see our plugin. Open that up and it says drag the text object in there. So we're just going to do text object one for the moment and it says drag a rectangle object there. Well, I haven't got any rectangle objects here at the moment so here's my rectangle object and there's my rectangle and just because I want to be able to see it behind the text I'm just going to give it a material so here's my basic material I'm just going to drop that on the front surface. Back to our scene plugins so now I've got a rectangle that I can drag down and drop onto the box. Now you can see here that it's fitted the width very nicely. So if I go um, to the properties of the plugin down here, you see that the fixed height value is being checked. If I uncheck that, now it matches the height as well as the uh, width. And you'll see that it's allowed a little bit of extra room at the bottom, a little bit of extra room at the top. And that's for letters like G or J or Y that hang down, these are called descenders, and accents that will go on the top of some letters in some languages. So we can change how much the auto box goes around the text, so we can make it a little bit wider on the left, and we can make it a little bit wider on the right. We can run on field updates, I'm just going to change that to run on every frame so you can see what I'm doing in this video. So at the moment it's just um, around one piece of text, if I go in here and I modify the text, hello, go back to our scene plugin, properties. So, say we want to go around two bits of text, I go to my scene plugins and I can drag my second piece of text here and just drop it in there. And now it's around both pieces of text. So, if I move this text this way or this way, it will quite happily cope with moving this text object around on the screen. Normally with the scene plugin, so let's set it up, select it up here and go to the properties. You could actually do it on a field update and you can select the field update it updates from here. That was the rectangle auto box plugin. I dragged it up to the scene, I went down to the plugins, I dragged my objects in here and then in the properties, don't forget to turn off the uh, fixed height value because otherwise it won't match the height correctly.